hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can implement jetpack navigation component using your android studio so let's begin by adding the dependencies what we need for our project so first dependency we need navigation hyphen fragment hyphen ktx so you need to find it out and use the android x dependency and similarly the second dependency we need navigation hyphen ui ktx and again you need to use the android x one now the first step to move forward is you need to go to file and create a new resource file and here you need to select the navigation but this is the and give the file name but this is the old way i'm going to show you the another way how you can create the navigation file click on this left hand side resource manager tap on navigation and then this plus sign and it will directly take you to the navigation and give the file name whatever you want i'm giving the name main nav underscore graph you just click on ok and here it will show you this file let's go to project back and you'll see navigation folder is created over there and this file has been created inside your resource folder now click on this plus sign and i'm adding fragments now so i'll be adding three fragment just to show you the navigation forward and the backward direction so i'm adding first fragment then using the same as the kotlin language and now i am adding second fragment giving the same name second fragment and the third fragment and giving the name as third fragment So you can see all the fragments has been added in uh, in the layout in the design screen and we can arrange it accordingly the way we want to navigate on each other. And you can see the home icon on the first fragment. So that is the first fragment and now I am creating the graph and you can see the ID over there it's automatically created you can change it as per you. If you want you can change it if you want, don't want then you can leave it and use the same id and similarly for the second navigation there is id and you can set this home or the star destination by right click on it and like you see the second have the home icon on top so i'm setting back the first fragment as the home fragment now go back to our project and we'll go to our uh, layout file that is the main layout file and go to the design now and simply i'm going to click on search and i'll type in here nav and you can see there are three options so you need to drag this nav host fragment on your design and you can see you need to select what the file we have created for our main navigation and then click on ok and you can see this code has been automatically generated here when we drag and drop our graph Now oh, let's close all these activities uh, and the layouts and now let's go to our first fragment and change it to the button so this button on click listener will help us to transit from fragment 1 to fragment 2 and I'm also changing its name then giving the name go to second fragment And I'm going to use the same button on the second fragment 
and that button will help us in and uh, navigate to the third fragment changing the id accordingly and on the third fragment we don't need to navigate to anywhere so this this is the last fragment so we don't need to add a button i'm simply changing its text that will call i'm the third fragment Now I'll go to our first fragment and first let me remove this unnecessary code. We don't need it. This code is used when we need to pass some parameters. Uh, we don't need to pass some something for this demo. So here we'll uh, handle the first button click. We'll pass the same ID what we gave in the layout file inside the first fragment. And now we'll handle this first button click. And for that we need to call find nav controller dot navigate and give the same ID which we got it at the time of creation of the graph on the design of our main nav. Similarly, we'll delete the code in the same second fragment. This is not needed for this demo. And here we'll pass the second button id and here we'll pass the id of the third fragment and third fragment we don't need to do anything let's close few layouts and run our application so everything looks good to me everything is done and let's run our application and see how it look like so you see first okay it's on top it's moving let me set it to the center of the screen also add some margin similarly we'll make the same change in the second fragment let's run it So we can navigate to the third fragment similarly we'll back that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching thank you